So in this video, we're gonna go over this rack and the panels for this rack here. So stay tuned. Thanks for tuning in, Jeff Ferris on the Hot Homestead. Today's video, we're gonna go over this, this rack and these panels. Now, in this video, we actually built this in the summer and here it is, it's like November and I haven't done anything because this whole solar upgrade's taking a long time because I gotta save money for each of the projects. So I had money to do this, I did this, then I did some batteries, so I did those and you'll see that in a later video. But, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just highlight everything that we did and uh, and this rack here, I love this rack. This rack does not move in the wind at all. So let's take a look. So my solar panel ground mount. I need some T-post, something to drive the T-post in the ground, some legs, there's three of them, some tools, and then some unistrut. We're gonna put all these together and they're gonna hold some solar panels. They're gonna hold 10 of them. So stay tuned, see how that works out. So this rack here will actually hold 12 250 watt panels. I've only got 10 up here because my inverter can't handle more than that. This here what I've done to help stabilize this is I've got four cinder blocks filled up with cement and under each cinder block there or each of the holes in the cinder block there's a rebar that goes down on the ground another 18 inches or so. I did that on each leg. So we've got quite a few of them. And then I had that, those T-posts that you saw earlier where, where my brother-in-law was, uh, was grinding it down. That's because the T-post is actually up inside this. So the T-post actually goes like, what, like right about here-ish or something like that. And because this pipe here, the inner dimension of this pipe was just a little bit too small to, f to fit over the, uh, the T-post perfectly. So we used a, a grinder and just ground it down. And when we did that, then this thing just slid right over it. So the T-posts are in the ground a good couple feet at least. And so they go up to about here-ish. There was no exact height that we went with. We just pounded it in the ground. So at least a couple feet was in the ground. So between the T-posts and this and the rebar in there, it's not going to shift on me at all. I've already had winds of uh, well over 70 miles an hour, and this thing doesn't budge. Man, when you sit here and you try to wiggle it, it does not move at all. In fact, even before I did this, it would wobble some. And now I did this, and boy, it just doesn't move. What I also did to help stabilize it was I did another unistrut that I bolted from here across to there. I was going to do another one here. That's why you see that one. But this thing is so stable that I don't even I don't even think I need this. Now I had this welded for me. So on the legs, they welded a piece across here. And then they welded a piece across there. And then this one and then we bolted this one here on and these are 10 foot 10 foot unit struts now the ones that goes lengthwise we had to use this guy here to help with joining them together 
Now I did this one the other way, and the ma basic reason is we had a difficult time in in attaching these guys here. So what we looked at doing was see if we can get up in there. You can see right here that there's that nut there which is a unistrut nut and then the bolt that goes through and goes in it okay and that and then when up here we did it differently this was so much easier to do we had such a difficult time dealing with this nut for some reason so we flipped these here around I kind of like it better this way because I can take my lines and put my lines up inside and here I don't want them exposed to the sun so I put them underneath and these zip ties they're supposed to be what extreme weather zip ties so we'll see how long that they last the zip ties plastic in the Arizona Sun just doesn't last so we'll see what happens I didn't even bother clipping these I'll go into another video about these panels and the inverter and I bought 250 watt panels and I'll be honest I regret that now I wish I would have bought 400 watt panels these were a great deal though you know there were you know when you get a smoking deal on on something you want to take advantage of it and I should have spent the extra money on 400 watt ones but I I divided it up this way because of first off it was balanced and so wind would be able to come cut through here during the winter the Sun sets right over here so this is perfect for the e for the uh, evening Sun during the winter months and that's what I really was concerned about because sometimes during the winter you'll get a storm that will roll in in the morning and then it will clear up and in the evening it's all fine so this way I can still get some power in the evening. Next ring, and then I'll do a video too about installing these MC4 connectors. I bought some extras because I I had to connect some wiring here. So I've got some wire here. Let's see what gauge is that wire? This here is 10 gauge wire. So this here I think is 12. Now, one thing that, that I'll bring up about these wiring, this is just a wire that you would buy at the hardware store. This and this coating is totally different. This here, the coating won't handle the sun. So I'm going to have to tape this up. This here will handle the sun a whole lot better. So there's a big difference between PV wire and just regular wire. The PV wire has this extra insulation on it that's UV protected. This is not. So this is going to be a problem. So I have to cover this up. I taped them together here going into my conduit. But that's basically the skinny with this. It took it took uh, three of us to to do to do this. Two of us probably could have handled it, but three of us were able to to uh, to deal with it a lot easier. Now if you notice these here aren't connected yet I'll get into that with another video so you'll have to subscribe about that one. Unistrut is like the uh, like the man's Lego set right? Let's see when I connected these I did the bolt all the way through. Let's see see how I got the bolt going all the way through? And then this guy here, this guy here does the same thing. This one here connects up with this guy. Well, just like this one. And then this one here does go, it connects these two here. So there you go, the rack, panels, got extra panels up. I still have the other rack over there. You see that over there? See the rack over there? So that one's got the, uh, with the south 
southeast guys and this one here has the southwest guys there you go some more panels so got to continue to upgrade the solar see you guys on the next video see you bye have fun